<laughs> Welcome to the RPG Exploration Society, everyone, right here on Saving Throw. Uh, my name is Rich, and I will be your guide and game master to, as we explore uh, Dune, Adventures in the Imperium. That's what this role-playing game is called. I keep calling it the Dune RPG, but I love that it's Adventures in the Imperium. It feels wild to me, and I like it. <laughs> um, I'm just ready to go. Um, I have been joined by this wonderful cast, and we are midway through our adventures in this Learn to Play series, um, and I'm ready to just start leaping into adventure as soon as we can. Uh, but of course, I need to introduce these uh, fantastic folks. Um, so uh, I am joined by the wonderful Aliza Pearl. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I am excellent. Excellent, indeed. Um, and you are playing Jaselnica, right? Yes, I am. Yes. Uh, Benny Gesserit, diplomatic envoy. Wonderful. For the House of Posh. The House of Posh. <laughs> I cannot wait for more with this group. Um, I keep wanting to just yell out, we will grind you at strange moments, but I don't. That's, <laughs> um, oh, that's not, I love this idea. Context matters. <laughs> um, next up. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Here, yes. Anytime. <laughs> uh, next up, uh, B. Welcome. <laughs> How are you today? Hello, hello. I'm fantastic. I'm excited for another session of me having some wires stuck up my nose. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah. You know, it's all for the character commitment. <laughs> I appreciate the commitment so much. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I will be a yes, Fremen. Uh, you know, I am a sandworm rancher and I have my little companion, Spicy Poops, the sandworm. Mm -hmm. um, there they go, there they are. And by the way, the art you posted today for... for uh, Dear Spicy Poops. <laughs> it's so this good. It's so, so good. good. <laughs> oh, I gotta it makes see me this. happy. Good. I love it. <laughs> it's attached to the thread. You'll find it. Well, I'm excited for you uh, to continue this path between the two spicy worlds. I love it. I love mm -hmm. it so much. <laughs> so much spice. <laughs> um, and hello to Cohen. Welcome. Welcome That's me. again. Yes. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm very happy to be here. Yeah. Excited. Yeah. Excited. How is how is Drohai feeling? Drohai is uh, Drohai is going to keep that to themselves. You know, we're going to see how it goes. I think the yeah, last thing right. we did was get on a very unpleasant ship, uh, the the very insulting ship. So we'll yes, see. <laughs> uh, taking it all in, you know. I can't uh, but, wait to hear how Drohai treats it. <laughs> Drohai, the twisted mentat. Uh, I loved that she went with unnerving. You picked that was. I mean, I know that's the thing from the sheet, but of, of all the adjectives to pick that one is perfect. Thank you. Excellent. I'm going to no. try to play to that <laughs> it's this an, evening. It's an excellent word. <laughs> and I love that it fits your character so well. Thank you. That's very oh, nice. my goodness. Justin, welcome. I mean, we, we never get a chance to talk anymore, so I'm so no, glad that you're barely, here. <laughs> barely, yeah. Um, rarely. I mean, in fact, this weekend, we're, we're hardly going to talk at all. As I right. fly down to LA to play games and go to a rave. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I am excited. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Um, and I'm also excited, of course, for Agent Brad Montana. Um, oh, yeah. I went with Root and Tootin earlier today. Does that, do you feel that hits your character well? I, I, feel, I feel very Root and Tootin right now. Okay. Um, so, yes, I'm going to go with yes. I'm a very Root and Tootin. Fantastic. Ready to go. Yeah. All right. Uh, and of course, Teos, thank you so much for joining us. How are you doing? I am feeling great. Uh, I also enjoyed greatly how you described my character. You shortened it to inscrutable master of nutrients. And I mean, that, like, <laughs> I want to play my character, and thankfully I am. So <laughs> that's the most rich sentence I've, I've heard in like a while. Are you saying <laughs> very, it's rich, very rich core, inscrutable master of nutrients? Very flavorful. I love it. Uh, I just it's I just didn't know what to expect when we built our characters and I, I have loved the process we have gone through if you have not gone back and checked out the old episodes you should because these these folks have created wonders here <laughs> to run through the Dune universe so thank you all um, uh, speaking of as we get started we are giving away um, copies of the Dune RPG for folks out there. If you are watching, if you don't have a copy yet, we're giving out three this week. Um, direct from Modiphius, you need to type in to the chat right now. I mean, first you need to be following Saving Throw, of course. Um, and then type in uh, exclamation mark raffle, and then type in a number from one to 10. They'll give you some entries into a raffle. If you sub, you get some more tickets. And at the end of this episode, we will give those away just before we break for the day. Um, and I think that's all my intro. Did we do it? I think we did it. 
<laughs> I think that was everything. Excellent. Yeah. But you don't well, let me see your notes anymore. No, no, no. I've learned. Um, so <laughs> um, let's see. We are mid-adventure, right? We, we started our adventures last time. And your group, your, your fantastic team of, uh, uh, I don't want to say saboteurs and miscreants, although we've already had two assassinations and a sabotage attempt and a, a smuggling uh, uh, rough up, <laughs> I suppose. None of that was um, proven. No, no, no. Right. No, okay. No, yes. No, no, okay. no witnesses. <laughs> but nope. None. Everything was great. It's like um, it never happened. Right. But uh, you had been tasked with heading down to Arrakis on the behalf of the House of Posh, then the great, great Guy Fieri Spice himself um, sent you down here as part of a, a large Imperial survey mission. Your task is to evaluate how, how the whole thing works to find out if the House of Posh can afford to get down here and take control of part of Arrakis. Um, and you want it. You want it real bad. Guy Fieri is totally in. Um, but uh, there are other houses here as well. They're off on their own missions doing kind of the same thing. And, uh, and who knows what's going to happen. We do know that one of your sets of enemies, well, I mean, there's another house, I suppose, that, uh, that some of you know a little bit about. Uh, the house of the house Dean. Who? <laughs> the great Doesn't buttery house. Yeah. Dean. Uh, <laughs> I think no? I would remember yeah. a butter yeah. house. I mean, come on, house Dean. I would remember that. Yeah, no, this the, uh, can't be right. This this doesn't exist. Okay, no. all right. Well, uh, there were some folks around, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> they went uh, that away um, off uh, to survey on their own. They gave you stairs like daggers the whole time, but no engagement there, uh, fortunately, because there were so, so tons of imperial guards around that could have been a disaster. Uh, meanwhile. He decided to leap in and be like, who are these House Harkonnen folks? We're going to sabotage a couple of their ships, make sure that they all die out here on the planet. I don't know if that, well, no, you wanted them to die here on the planet. I feel pretty confident saying that. Um, <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, uh, it did not work out quite as you had hoped. Uh, the two ships flew away and they should be able to make their survey mission pretty safely. Um, a thing I forgot to mention last time, which I should have, is your plan was solid. It was great. And our good friend, Agent Brad Montana, was a perfect distraction, leaping in to just start a ruckus. <laughs> you are muted, but I hear your rage. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I did mute myself. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I uh, yeah no it was awesome and I heard I heard we're getting bonus momentum because of how awesome it was. That's kind of what what I was thinking. Uh, close, close. Um, like I six think momentum yep. seven. Like yep. I mean, <laughs> oh, six or six. yeah, I like that. I like yeah, that. that. Approximately. Yeah. The only thing I'm worried about is that we're gonna get too much momentum. You know? That's right. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like like. Stop. Yeah yeah. Not I mean I know that's champagne problems, but you know. It's I'm a nervous. Point. Yeah, it's a good point. Uh, I think I have to go the the other way here. Um, unfortunately, one of the things about this game is whenever you attempt a skill test, if you roll twenties, you gain complications, and those are kind of free for me to just hand out in special circumstances as well. And I think the one where you successfully get in a fight, right, as a distraction, not a battle scene, but a distraction, right? I think you might get a punch or two in there, right? Okay. You think, or were you masterful about this? No one can touch you. Oh, 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 um, no, I'm, I'm, I probably got, got beat up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and drop a complication on you. Uh, this is a battle complication. You are bruised. Um, the pain just makes it a little hard to concentrate. Okay. Uh, and that will not last eternally. There are two ways to get rid of it. One of it is just to wait it out a little bit. Um, uh, I might show pity and just let it go if enough time passes, which makes sense with the story. But the other way is to just, hey, give me two threat if you want to. Do you just want to be stopped bruised anymore? Um, oh, well, I mean, what does, what does bruised do? It makes your battle tasks more complicated. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, I'm fine then. <laughs> <laughs> so your complexity is going to go up by one, your difficulty for anything you do with battle. Uh, because you got in a fight and you're just kind of beaten up. Okay. But, uh, that certainly doesn't stop you from flying the Thopter, uh, the group of you, and an NPC you met last time, all the way to this uh, this carry-all floating in the sky. My 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 friend Obergon. Um, Obergon, yeah. I, uh, That's Jaris. Jaris. Jaris Obergon, um, a member of the House of Posh who was sent here on an exchange some time ago, um, but you were old friends, right? Uh, 
yeah, a little bit of a risk taker uh, herself and yeah. has made her way here and is working on this carryall. And as you fly here, lets you know that you, you know, she's the second in command. She's got lots of business, uh, lots of things to do. It's a, it's a very, very ridiculous thing overseeing spice operations. So she's here to be your guide. Um, let's see what's the last thing I want to say before we get moving into our story. Oh, of course, you landed on the grief. Mm -hmm. uh, which is what she called this ship. This uh, this old Harkonnen ship, which actually, as you get close, the whole thing is like scraped with uh, with dust and sand from storms over the years. Uh, who knows how long it's been in service. Um, but as you get close, you actually see that there is a name etched on the side of it, uh, which is Graf von Driesen, um, some ancient noble of some kind that uh, maybe the ship was named after, but now they just call it the Grief. You were able to bring your thopter not to land on the bays as you flew over those all seemed pretty crowded and packed with supplies and just kind of a mess um and you instead had to land in this like old school clip in to the uh the carryall as it floats above climb up a ladder to get out and the last thing that happened is we entered the hearts of the grief um you stepped inside it was loud chaotic uh stuff everywhere people moving through um sweaty gross but also filled with the smell of the spice um this oh, is definitely sorry. that was a spice place <laughs> ignore um so with obergon to kind of guide you through here uh uh let's see um she wants to take you so let's let's do this you you get here you you immediately see your surroundings what are your first thoughts upon entering this carryall seeing what spice is like narrow corridors gross stuff everywhere is it, it home? Is this nice? It's, yeah. It's going to be oh, it's, fun yes, when I we know. leave here. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> I'm excited about the drop. <laughs> this oh, like, is, is nice. That, like, is that cinnamon? Breathe it in. <laughs> is that cinnamon in here? It feels like it's, it's, it smells, oh, it's the spice, it's right? Close. Is it supposed yes, to just yes. smell like cinnamon? <laughs> uh-huh, and it kind of tingles the nostrils. Right, but Are it smells kidding? like yeah, cinnamon, right? This is weird. It's not like I'm quite, not crazy. Okay, fine. you need like a discerning nostril to really. I went to I, I don't think you got for it. smelling mm. and sensing things. I I think I know what cinnamon tastes like. It's fine. Mm. I don't know. Sometimes <laughs> there's just like something that you're clearly not. Are you big leaking me about the smelling the spice right uh, now? Is that what's happening? I mean, me? I, no, 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 no. Ca 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 carry on. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I. I. I, res, I, res, I retreat into myself. I, can't, I mean, I'm playing it over in my head in perfect clarity. I just got devastated. <laughs> so I'm just. Well, just get me a little bit of sugar, and I'm ready to put this on some toast. Ooh. I like that. Uh, I mean, you, as you are smelling this, right? The cinnamon is strong. I mean, you don't, as, as other people might, I think. I think you are so used to the smells of, of oil and ozone from your, your time with the Spacers Guild that, yeah, the spice is the big new thing. But mm -hmm. there's kind of an undercurrent of filth to the spicy smell as well, just kind of industrial technology. Yeah. yeah. No. Are we getting any type of effect from it, or is it too soon for that? It's a little happen? soon, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty immediate. Um, okay. but potentially, who knows? <laughs> um, Dr. Yuma is all interested mm -hmm. in the dynamics of this place. I believe we're assigned to this carryall, but is it kind of like at our command? Or are we just supposed to help out? What is, uh, how do we mm -hmm. integrate to this place? What's our role? That is a good question. You are here as, as visitors. Um, that is, I mean, although you are kind of leaders of houses, I mean, if, uh, if, Obergon here is the second in command of this ship. You don't expect that the people here have high ranks in their own houses, uh, whatever is going on. I mean, this is an imperial operation that's going on here. So uh, people have kind of come around to join House Carino in this specific area. But he's the leader. Who knows? <laughs> um, so I would say that you have some latitude there. So, but I you are not impress, in charge. I will impress upon Obergon that um, this is while we're playing it casual this is important and we uh need to do well compared to the other houses and so obergon in whatever way we are to achieve victory today yes. you should tell us you should guide us that we ensure this for our house okay all right okay this is this is good um i mean you know of course that we're not we're not top of the pack here we're, we're not getting the 
don't tell anyone. We're not getting the nicest carry all in the world. I mean, look or, look at this place. It's We can't land on the top because it's just filled with stuff. Um, commander here is, I mean, we do well, need to go talk to uh, Commander Globus pretty quickly, but it's not... Uh, not the most organized of individuals, I'll tell you that. I mean, don't don't tell him I said that. I, I don't know. I, I kind of like the grief. I mean, you know, she don't look like much, but she's got it where it counts. You've been on this ship for four minutes. I got here with you. How do you know she's got it when it counts? I, I, I can feel the rumblings. They're rumbling good. I like them rumbles. <laughs> This folksy pilot is gonna kill me. I, I know it. <laughs> Valid. I, I, I've had a. I've had a. I think I might have unlocked my own prescience. I just. I see my death at this man's hand. <laughs> I think the spice is affecting me. Oh no. Um, I, I will lean in and whisper to Obergon. Uh, we should see this captain, and uh, if mm -hmm. the captain needs a sedative, just let me know. Oh, I, I don't, mm, I'm not sure if that would be, it'd help or cause or hurt us. Um, I, I get here, I'll leave it to you, but come, come this way. We, oh, this is, a uh, this is our path. She kind of points and, uh, there's these large bulkheads up above. There's some sparking and some cabling hanging, hanging down. Um, she just kind of lifts them up and starts moving underneath, uh, in between some crates through some hallways. It's, um, it's a tight squeeze in a lot of places. There's just junk everywhere. Sometimes you touch a wall and leave a smear of, of grease behind. Um, it's just, it's, it's, it's uncomfortable unless this is your deal. Um, but as you look around, like, you know, passing through the, the crew quarters, uh, gross, untidy, um, Obergon points out, you know, there, there's some places in here that are nice, but definitely there's a huge pile of like filthy grease covered laundry. Um, that is not quite getting done as often as you might wish. I mean, certainly in the rack, this this would have been done immediately. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You change right. you wash your you wash your after each shift, really. Mm -hmm. And that's just that's just good policy. You just put it in the you put it in the hamper. It's clean in the morning. It's part of it's part of working there. Right. Right. Yeah. Do yeah. you understand how much water there is here? Well, there's a lot of grease. I mean, I don't. Is that? Uh huh. Can we? It's fine. It's fair. Can you is there any other way bath? to clean? Is there any just other way? Are we just in grease? Scrape it off. Well, you only need a bath about once a week, so yeah, mm -hmm. should be fine. Captain, uh, is that what you said? Once a month. <laughs> <laughs> once a month, yeah. man. That'd save me some time. <laughs> mm -hmm. And water it saves so much water mm -hmm. that way. Yeah, we, we typically uh, hold to our, our still suits, make sure that we are keeping our, our water in. But, you know, every once in a while, we do need like a good sandy rub down to kind of get this grease off of us as best we can. There's really not much else for it. You usually do it when you're on rotation down on the surface. That's how you get the grit yeah. out. About once a month. <laughs> you get the grit out, exactly. Um <laughs> Keeps leading you through, and uh, and you go past like uh, this huge, loud, deafening engine room. Uh, just tons of cables, power conduits, engineers running around there. Uh, they don't look frantic in any way. They, I said running, but uh, just taking care of the place, doing the usual. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> whoops. Um, and as you keep going, it's. Uh, I mean, you're you're just constantly confronted with the the mismanagement, which I will say, since Teos yeah. mentioned that specifically of this place it's just it's just not what you expected i think maybe i don't know maybe it is what you expected um but uh let's see what else uh Obergon leads you by the spice compressor and she says okay so come this is this is very important um and it is this huge uh open mouthed thing with conveyor belts running towards it where uh where loose spice um is just sent in on the belt and eventually turned into these perfect bricks in the end for packaging and transport around the galaxy. Well, this is it. This is this is what we're here for. These bricks are uh, exactly what we need to be producing within the House of Posh if we want to make any inroads in the Imperium. Uh, it's a difficult machine, not too bad. You know, we get enough of these on the ship and we should be, should be ready to go. Um, I don't know if your own... Uh, Equipment back on the on Spice World will be up to you know. Could we convert any of this? Or I, I didn't oh, spend a whole lot of time absolutely. with those machines. Absolutely, 
Oh, I okay. think so. I mean, we have all of the factories that produce our uh, ready-made dinners, things like that. Ah, yes, mm -hmm. yes. We're very good with packaging things. This, I was gonna say this. This does look like the hot dog plant. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this we got we got little cumin cumin shaker size. We got red paper flake shakers. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got like the you know the pepper grinders. Uh, we have those like little mm -hmm. pink pink Himalayan salt things that come with yes. the little grater that no one in history has ever successfully used. But <laughs> comfortably, the rotations are never yeah. smooth. No, no, they aren't. They aren't. We the the science is ahead of the funding, I guess, on that one. Mm -hmm. But um. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we can we can we can package spice for sure. Oh, That's good. like the main thing we good. do on our entire planet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, this this should be good. I think this is this is one of the biggest things. If we're able to convert our machinery to this, that's that's a serious boon in our favor. Um, our conans don't have anything like this. Um, we'll have to get out there and kind of see exactly what the gathering process is like as well as part of this tour. But um, the commander, you wanted to see the commander. Yes, sorry. As, as we walk there, are there any dangers we need to be worried about? Like, uh, I mean this in this kindest way, Parmoon, but Fremen attacks or brigands anything uh, like that yeah that seems like a real concern yeah hmm? yes how yeah. are relations with <laughs> fremens these days That's not not fantastic i mean uh, clearly you have some sort of accord going on here but uh, but generally our, our our gatherers need to be very careful we try to stray from most of the the large rocky areas where where different camps are, are held um just to make sure that there are no no issues between the two groups we, we prefer to stay as far away as we can that's smart. I'm surprised you all haven't been slaughtered yet. So, you know, good on you. Yeah, right. Yes, it, it of course does increase the odds of uh, of <laughs> huge sandworms, you know, consuming our, our vessels whole. But um, mm -hmm. but yeah, we, we do what we can. I'm going to I'm going to ask you to circle back yeah, what, to that. How, to that. Did you say huge sandworms? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Bigger than this carry on. Which vessel? Like the little like the one like the ornithopters or the or the the you don't mean oh, the carry all. Oh, I, I mean, I we hope we do try to fly high so it doesn't come down to that. Uh, but our, our ships that are down on the surface, definitely those are our potential targets. We do try to take care to um, guide sandworms elsewhere during our harvesting. Well, that seems how, how do you do that? Oh, we use thumpers, you know, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yes, I've just. Drop them down on the surface, just lots of vibrations uh, over there somewhere, and uh, hope that the sandworm heads that way first. We can continue our, our harvesting and get out of there before things get uh, a little too tough. Do most of the processing up here on the grief. Yeah. Agent Montana, I'll count on you to be able Sounds to like... get us out quickly. Well, I think I can do that. Is anybody watching the? Was it how close were how close were people watching the spice bricks as we moved away from the spice brick uh, dispenser? You, there are definitely are they just kind of rolling here? out. Yeah. I love Lucy style, like <laughs> they kind of are, right? But there are people around uh, in their still suits with masks on, and they are taking them and packaging them up pretty quickly, keeping a pretty it, close eye on the old spice yeah. bricks. Okay, this is this All is right, one that's of fine. the areas where. Uh, yeah. But actually, as you're doing that, um, do you want to go ahead and give me and. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and give me uh, an understand check, if you like, as you're looking around. If you want to get specific, um, could I, I know. Also? Uh, I think anyone could give me an understand check. I, we, because we also have. I'm looking around to see the organization. I'm looking around to test out, like, what's the feeling of the vibrations going on here. So uh, anyone could make an understand check. Did that okay. work when I clicked the understand button, or do I need to? Oh, I got to hit the little. Oop. There's a handful of uh, prompts. Uh... Oh, yes. here we go. Uh, uh, so we're doing it on. Yes, we are fantastically using Roll20 right now. I see it already loading up here. Uh, you can see our chat where we are going to be showing off some of the rolls we've got. Exactly how fantastic what, this is on Roll20. What what drive? <laughs> what drive are we, we're working on? That's a good here? question. Well, that's up to you. What do you think? What What is it I am trying to understand? <laughs> sorry, uh, to... As you, sorry, no. You're taking a look at the, the spice bricks, right? Uh, as uh -huh. you're looking at it and trying to study it, uh, what are your intentions? I mean, what, what drives you to focus on this and see what you know? This is just a, it's a handful of wealth, which represents a handful of power. Absolutely. Represents means. Perfect sense to opportunities. me. Opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess power, probably. Yeah, take it away. All right. 
Um, uh, two dice. Two dice. Yep. This or is, do this I? Is a, this is a difficulty one, so this okay. is just uh, just generally sensing what you can sense around here. Using focus, sort of attention. Is it attention to detail? Is that... Attention to detail is great. Yes. So okay. focus. Yes. Then, yes. Okay. Well, that was. Did that work? <laughs> That did work. That is two successes for Drohai. Uh, Jaselnica oh, is so looking loud. around and just, <laughs> I, I don't know. What do you think? You 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 don't succeed. Are you kind of focused on how do you how how comfortable is Jaselnica here? That's my question. Um, I I'm always looking for someone who I can make a connection with, who I can schmooze, and it's just too much going on. Absolutely, I can't find a, a person to latch onto. So I'm I'm mm -hmm. yes, I'm distracted and a bit overwhelmed. I like it. Sounds good. Um, Cohen with two successes. Yes, you were noticing quite a bit. Uh, Parmoon with one, uh, mm -hmm. using your your faith to understand what's going on. Uh, yeah. Dr. Yuan Spice, using power, also getting a success here. Um, yeah, sorry, I've, and I've, I've been thinking about it, and I kind of wanted to uh, dig into the understand side of things, too, and kind of look at the machinery, but I'm looking at it at, from a mechanical standpoint and kind of mm -hmm. just the whole structure of everything based on what I know about big machinery from being on ships and stuff. I'm with you. Um, so I'm thinking uh, I'm going to do understand. And then I'm going to do uh, duty because, oh, wait, sorry, faith, because um, because because I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this in a sense of my survival. Oh, sure. Um, and so, you know, I just kind of want to see if if my my folksy faith that I'm putting in this rig is is true or if I am lying to my companions and will continue to do so. <laughs> right. And your faith statement, this too, I will survive makes plenty of sense here. So that works for me. Okay. I got one. You got one. All right. Yeah. So perfect. So we, we are understanding quite a bit about this ship from the tour and I'm sure that you can sense some of the things that I'm about to tell you. Uh, certainly, uh, woefully mismanaged as you look around. Um, not a lot of connections and communication. I mean, this spot right here is the, the source of the carry-all's power. Um, and staff here, they're, they're loading things up and they're doing it frantically, like quickly, as hard, you know, with, uh, with intent. And Cohen, as Drohai is kind of looking at these folks, you can tell that they've got um, uh, bruising, um, you know, a, a couple... Uh, Marks on their arms that you can see kind of like uh, beneath their still suits, uh, on their hands, things like that. Uh, you Definitely some sort of corporal punishment going on here for sure um, with some of the folks. Um, and you get a sense that as you've been looking around, right, that's true of a lot of people. I, I feel like Giselnica probably isn't making connections because the crew doesn't want to connect, right? They see you coming and, and they kind of like step away. They know that they're not supposed to talk to you um, in a sense. And that's kind of what they're doing. Um, but you do get a sense about what's going on, and uh, as <laughs> uh, Agent Brad Montana is checking out kind of the machinery as you're going around, that engine room looked fine, fine, but not great, not up to, not up to code if there was a code. Um, it's a, you don't expect it to come crashing down anytime soon, but this thing is going to need major repairs if it's going to last another, you know, decade or so, uh, which it's supposed to do. This is, this is meant to sail here for quite some time. So overall, massive sense of mismanagement um, as uh, you keep looking through this place and Obergon leads you up towards the commander. All right. <laughs> um, so let's see. Um, kind of heading up uh, through this, uh, moving up out of this bulkhead and these tight corridors and into what seems to be a much larger bridge area. Um, you start looking around and seeing actually some almost tactical data around. There's a there's a s array of, of lights and sensors over on, on one wall of this place. Uh, a large table filled with papers, um, all sorts of things. Chairs, one chair clearly more important than the other ones. And uh, and sitting back, reading a couple memos at the front is a uh, is a figure in a, a tight fitting uh, uniform kind of laying back the the shirt tails are untucked uh they're kind of kicking back in their chair a little bit as they're looking at these things and uh has a big smile on his face you can definitely tell that he knows you're here and is still reading this memo um hmm. and obergon says all right this is uh, this is it commander globus uh runs this whole place uh should be able to uh, tell you a little bit about the operation uh answer whatever questions you may have 
Um, well, I hey have... there, Commander Globus. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. I totally talked over someone. I, I, I should take that back. No, it was the no, perfect this, this narrative gonna... of what I was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll learn more from how he responds to you first. <laughs> fair enough um globus kind of like slowly puts down the memo and looks up at you before smoothing down the uniform and standing up to kind of lean on the desk and goes aha you're those uh fancy folks from the house of posh huh come to oversee our operation see what's going on here we're real fancy yeah. Yes. Fancy. Yes. Fancier uh, than folks we see here. We are just very good at what we do, and uh, ah. we're not here to oversee. We're just here to observe and see how we may also produce the spice. Excellent. Well, you've come to the the you've come to the graph. You've come to the best carry all uh, here on Arrakis. Uh, been serving That's here for quite some time. Incredibly upsetting is... to hear. Sorry. Did you say this was the best one? Oh, absolutely. Of course. We've been in operation for, for three decades. They're uh, all worse than this one? Work. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Oh, we're uh, fine. Yeah. A lot of them I don't run know, by guys. Those... I don't know if we can uh... want this planet. <laughs> <laughs> the spice uh. is worth it, Drohai, but it's just the process is quite pitiful. I'm sorry. I'm very yes. sorry for interrupting. Please continue. I, it was What you said was no, quite no. alarming, given our present circumstances. Well, look. Look, look, uh, uh, harvesting spice is really, really difficult. You know, I mean, it's we, we got to do difficult work. There's there's not enough people. It's hot. It's it's it's, it's oh, there's not enough water. You got to get down on the surface. Anything down there might kill you. And we're, we're trying to gather these bricks together. So, yeah, I mean, sometimes it's hard to do, but uh, we do our best. And by the best, I mean, it's us right here on the grief. I mean, the graph. Sorry, sorry, I'm not supposed to call Grief. it that. I'm in charge. Mm. How long have you been here, Commander? Well, I've, I've been here for uh, for 20 years now. I mean, now in this command position for the last five. Mm. And uh, have you seen a lot of turnover and people who have worked here? Death. Have you seen a lot of death? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just a just a part of the job. You know, uh, whenever we get uh, our numbers run a little too low, we send for more recruits and... They make it here. There's always people willing to work for uh, all the money Spice can bring. That's what mm. they're getting. The people who work for you here. They're getting all the money that Spice can bring. Uh, I'm, uh, they're getting... Um, I mean, they're getting paid uh, a, a fair wage. Sure, yeah. Those are those sounds those just sorry, those just sound like two very different things. No, I, I mean, the wages come from Spice, right? So... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. They're, they're definitely well treated. Uh, I mean, that's that's part of the deal here on the on the the graph. Yep, treating everybody fairly and equally. It's uh, if only they were weren't so terrible at doing their job. You know, you know. Yeah. Though so, I am though I am mainly mesmerized by the glasses I'm seeing. Uh, my character, because <laughs> uh, those are awesome. Uh, my character does uh, w tries to get a read of this commander uh, without showing the revulsion that I feel so deeply uh, to mm. try to understand what uh, to, to whom he answers. Is he answering to, to the Imperium? Like what, what kind of worries him to where, where's his source of uh, duty or allegiance? I yes. like that. That is sounds. Looks Can I assist that uh, read in any way? Because mm -hmm. I have yes. similar questions. I like that. So I feel like this this read in particular, uh, although you phrased it like understand, you need to get some knowledge, right? You're kind of trying to talk to them, figure out what this is. So that sounds like a communication check. Okay. Then uh, more than understand. Very good. But yes, you can absolutely assist. Yeah, and okay. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty. I like uh, eliciting information from a target subtly. Oh sure. Um, mm -hmm. And how about we go with uh, truth? What makes him function? Uh, yes, that would work perfectly. So is that three dice since I have a focus? So or, let's see. Um, or is it two dice? So right now it is two dice. Um, I'm going to tell you that this task focus? is... Just... Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to help assert that the focus just creates your area of success to be a little larger. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, Thank you. Allows you to crit more often. Um, and as we're talking about this, this you have two dice at the moment. You will get some assistance. Uh, this... Doesn't seem to be a dramatically difficult task. I mean, this person is really ready to tell you most things, right? Very self-important. Um, so let's call it a difficulty two. Okay. Uh, bop, bop, bop. 
Okay, and oh, oh, see if he gets. Yes, he gets one success. So now I can assist. You can assist. Um, so I'll roll one die, and should I use uh, similar? I communicate. I would actually use communicate power. That's totally fine. That's that's I, how you choose to communicate yeah. in the situation. That works. Okay. So communicate power, one die, mm -hmm. uh, and using a focus. I mean, uh, you can let me know if this flies. I would say either diplomacy or persuasion, because my thought is if this is a person that we can have on our side, then mm -hmm. and, and we can get in good with him by getting to know him. <laughs> so I yes. feel like it's either yeah. one. So, no, so we're doing we're doing an interrogation and a persuasion at the same time. That feels classic. So yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And there and we go. We are successful. successful. Okay. Um, so and we with get, that, we'll yeah. Sorry, we'll get one moment. We gain one momentum. Oh, I don't know why I'm adding it. Uh, I made tokens so that you could all add them, and then I did so it myself. So fun! <laughs> Digital tokens. I'm excited. Um, well, excellent. Yeah, you definitely can tell some things about uh, about our <laughs> dear commander that uh, that were a little unclear before. You get him talking about um, who he works for, and it is wow. Like uh, it immediately gets into hierarchy. It gets into uh, I work for the Imperium, but also I'm I'm slightly subject to uh, the Harkonnens who run a lot of the the stuff around here, and this is you know one of their ships. But also I don't answer to them. I answer to the Imperium. Uh, Mostly with that success, you get the sense that as long as enough bricks come out of this, uh, Globus can do kind of whatever. Um, can ask for help when needed, but again, like getting more people onto the ship, as long as spice is coming out, is easy to do. So, mm. um, though, though does answer to many people, doesn't actually answer to almost anyone. Mm. So you're and responsible he's very proud for the it. state of things. Around here, uh, of, of course, yes. I take great pride in uh, in all the wonders that we have here. All right. Um, what would you? Okay, so we're here to observe. We're here to observe mm -hmm. um, and make some suggestions, or just observe. I'm 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 checking with <laughs> my party leader. I'm like, just sort of what, what what do we remind me? Remind me what we're specifically what we're supposed to be doing here. This is, this is, this, we're in a race type situation. Whoever gets the most spice, that's what we're going for. Trying to make, get more spice than the other houses. I'm, I'm now not talking to him and I've turned fully towards, I've shown him my back and I'm fully ta just talking to the group. Um, this is a big power play. I've forgotten while we're here slightly and I'm just talking to my friends now. I believe Excellent. it was that we are meant to survey Arrakis and its production facility and then tell the Imperium, whether or not we could set up shop here ourselves, and also maybe pitch them on how much it would cost us to do that. Is that right, Obregon? As we're, as uh, we're yeah. talking, she agrees as we're talking, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I, I start doing a little bit of, a little bit of, you know what I'm talking about, mm -hmm. a little mm -hmm. bit, a little bit of code talk, and I'm like, <laughs> what? Wouldn't it be the best showing if we just? took the ship and made a lot more spice than they're currently making i mean isn't that sort of i mean it's a little unpaid interny i know which you know their current output yeah. is terrible yeah right like, those, I, those piles were tiny there's a like, there's i saw spice falling off the conveyor belt because there was just a pile of of, of loose greasy rags suspended mm -hmm. from the ceiling that's not, not even that's up. not even close to the most efficient way to store those. I think we mm -hmm. could turn this around. I think we could make this. I I don't I don't want to get stuck on this planet. I mean, I know I'm usually down for a good time, but uh, this this just seems like a little bit much. Uh, it's a little hot here. Uh, I'm I'm okay getting it in, into shape, but but I don't want to get stuck. Okay, well, he doesn't have to know that we've taken it over. I mean, we could just, it doesn't seem like a lot of, I'm, I'm doing that with, I'm, this, <laughs> okay. to, yeah, in yeah, my yeah. speaking, I'm like, who was that guy we met? He was wearing a hat, big at the chili, at the chili party. No, okay. I, I don't remember either. I, I don't even remember. This might have been a dream. But, but you know, we're, we're planning and we're scheming as we're having this convert, this upper conversation. Uh, From Montana, I believe you could buy all of the ornithopters you could want if you're successful on this planet. 
Yeah, but but this fella, he done said he's been here for 30 years. I I don't I don't know that I got 30 years left. Um I'm what? thinking like uh Are maybe, you asking for my opinion as a doctor? <laughs> no. No, I don't I, I imagine it's gonna be an ornithopter crash, so <laughs> speaking of which <laughs> Um, well, all this is happening. Can I slip away and steal some of that spice? <laughs> yes. Excellent. Yes. All right. Yes. <laughs> so you you look and you see uh, the commander is kind of like almost circling the group, like trying to figure out what the spoons are about, what's going on in here. <laughs> um, very focused. And you, you take the opportunity to like slip away. Um, Obergon kind of gives you a little wave uh, as you head off. Um yeah, absolutely. Uh, you the the ship is very easy to get lost in. That's for sure. Um, you get a get a little ways in, like moving through the bulkheads. Pretty sure you remember how uh, how you got here. And uh, at that moment, two things happen, and one of them is uh, is that we got a toast. And I would just want to mention, of course, uh, five foot Latina. Thank you so much. Hey, Poshies. I'd say don't inhale, but it's way too late for that. So. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> oh thank yeah. You, thank you. Um, <laughs> But the other thing you notice is the loud, deafening boom that comes from the distance behind you. Even back in the commander's bridge area, uh, it's enough that you hear it. Um, and it, it's just as the commander is trying to get in here and figure out what you're saying. He goes, um, uh, is, uh, do you need any help with anything? I mean, I could help you with whatever you need. And then there's just this loud, enormous boom. Um, it was that way. You came from that way. So maybe that was in, um, uh, oh gosh, it could have been in the, uh, the, the crew quarters. Maybe it's back in the, the engine room. Maybe it's all the way back in the, uh, you know, uh, excuse me, uh, the, the, the landing zone where you came up in. But, uh, but you notice on the walls, a red light blink. It's probably uh, one of the on. damn piles of greasy rags. They're a it, fire it, hazard. It doesn't say that exactly, but it does say spice compressor. <laughs> Oh, is, does that happen often, Commander? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's just, I'm sure it's just a little, little problem and the workers will figure it out. You know, we'll be back on, on schedule soon enough. So it doesn't happen often? No, I mean, no, no, it doesn't ha it happen. Never. No, no, this is very rare. We should definitely uh, check this out. Uh, yeah, this yeah, sounds like a yeah. great, uh, great. We all keep logs to observe you. Obregon, check it with out. A crisis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, you notice him immediately. Just delegate right away. Obregon, see what's going on. Uh, and if anyone needs punishment, you let me know. I'm gonna pick up what Jaselnik is putting down, and I'm gonna uh, lean closer to the commander and, and say, "We're not supposed to discuss the evaluation, but you know, it's an evaluation." Right. The, 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 the evaluation? I'm sorry? What? No. You're here from the House of Posh. Let us, let us say that out arbitration. loud if yeah. anyone is listening. Yes. That's what they'd like you to believe. <laughs> kind of like gulps and looks around and sees some of the, uh, I mean, uh, uh, the, well, I'm trying to think. A lot of your characters, right? The factions you you belong to or don't belong to have some obvious signs, right? Um, is uh, is the commander able to pick up on some of those? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you require okay. a sedative to calm down? I'll pull out oh, a needle. No, I, I should be in a <laughs> tip-top shape for, uh, sure? for dealing with an emergency situation. Obergon, go deal with this emergency situation. Are you sure you've taken 812 breaths since I walked in here? I've been counting. Uh, that's That's... <laughs> it's, it's is this is that on the evaluation do i need to do a, a breath count should it be should you should it be i don't know <laughs> how's, um, how's your health how, I, how are you how are you feeling these days i i have uh i should go check on something uh <laughs> um here uh I'll, uh, yes, yes, of course. Uh, you, you check on the, the spice compressor and I'll go check on, uh, the storerooms and make sure the uh, explosion didn't come from there. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And hmm. we will case this joint while you're gone. <laughs> the, the, hold on, what? No. <laughs> All in my brain. No, that was just spoon talk, right? Yeah, That's yeah, spoon, yeah, talk. Yeah, spoon talk. <laughs> it's Dune. I mean, there have to be all these, like, inside your head kind of, you know, moments. Mm -hmm. 
But what does that mean? Yeah, like that's my favorite thing. It's my favorite part of Dude. So. I love that. Oh my goodness. Um, so, any documents does, on the desk? And does anyone want to go with them? I don't know if anybody. Um, yeah. 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 I mean, I know we shouldn't split the party, but I also want to know where he's actually going. Split it. That's true. Pretty good. Because I, I want to head he's... there. So, if you want to meet me there. <laughs> I think I'd like to go follow Commander Globus. Okay, sounds good. Kind of if heading anyone off else towards would the like to, ship, yeah. If anyone else would like to join me, I'll come along. I'm just, I just want to take a glance at the desk to do the old Mintap memory. Anything, any documents, just like for for picking through later. I'm just like sure. scanning whatever. Now that he's not in the room, that memo that he was, uh, you know, ostentatiously reading oh, after we'd entered the room. I, at the first thing I look at. Yes. That is good. I that that memo is definitely a a map of the routes that you're going to be going on. It's it's mostly the the missive from the Imperium about this visit. So it does say, you know, you know, we want you to be able to to show them these things, make sure that they get down to a harvester and are able to see this from a, the ground operation. Um, <laughs> uh, you see that some notes at the bottom that are very specifically like try not to talk too much about sandworms and other dangers of life on Arrakis. <laughs> Um, <laughs> mention that water is plentiful uh, and we can get it from space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is not clarified in any way. <laughs> As we uh, follow, I almost called yeah. him Dr. Globus, Commander Globus, <laughs> um, I'd like to ask Drohai in my fork language, in our fork language, uh, what the memo said and if there were any other papers. All right. Um, it's, it seemed like pretty standard instructions, also with some weird specific instructions that were either for that for that guy, or for or for us. But I think they were for that guy. I don't think they sent us to the best one. They were very specific instructions. Um, mm. Did I find anything else interesting on the desk? Uh, the there are definitely some damage reports. Some you know, uh, not not damage, but uh, the the list of repairs that are needed for the next uh, couple months and kind of how much that's going to cost. Um, there are some, uh, some definitely some things crossed out on there. Um, little notes that say, how about next month? Things like that. This um, place is being, like, obviously you picked up on the fact that this place is being run very poorly. I, it's worse than, it's worse than we thought. It's worse than I thought for sure. It's, he's not even doing basic repairs. He's pushing stuff back. I, I don't feel super safe. And I, I, I was thinking that, and then I remember just now that we are heading away from an explosion so i'm feeling a little bit better but I'm... <laughs> there could be explosions anywhere else <sighs> yeah <All right. laughs> so That's you two life. are <laughs> you two are following uh uh commander globus uh, off into the distance but i know the par moon is he as head of the group towards the explosion i mean that's definitely in front of you towards the spice compressor and uh the doctor and the agents are headed behind with uh with obergon is yeah, that kind of a rundown. Okay. Yeah, I think I think uh, um, uh, Bradshaw is, or uh, sorry, Agent Brad is uh, <laughs> is 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 definitely interested in the explosion and see seeing what went wrong with and comparing it with what he uh, kind of observed earlier. So Perfect. I was I was curious whether there was anything in this command area that I might use to um, pin culpability on on them. Uh, if if I think oh, I could wow. go, if the, I think there's more data or things like that to be gained, I'll stay here and search it. Otherwise, I'll go with Montana. Okay, I would say that those those documents on the desk. I mean, it, you could provide a compelling argument to uh, get this commander out of service if you needed to. I will um, simply pick up some of those <laughs> then. Sure. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, Especially those ones about repairs. I mean, that's a big deal. Uh, certainly, the, the the place is making enough to to meet quotas uh, with spice, but they're just not, you know, fixing what they need to fix. Uh, which uh, leads us to uh, Par Moon, who has kind of moved forward, making it through these these passageways. The smell of the spice leading you on. You know, you're almost floating off the ground. Uh, heading towards it. <laughs> um, <laughs> like a cartoon and, hobo. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> wonderful. Uh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. The cinnamon <laughs> leads you onward. Oh, um, yes. And, uh, but, but the explosion, like black smoke starts coming through the hallways up ahead. Uh, you start heading through. Um, I mean, you're set for this sort of thing, right? Moving oh, through. Oh, yeah. 
scary emergency. <laughs> been there, done that. You know, I'm Maybe. chatting away to spicy poops, talking about like mm -hmm. it's been some time since I've consumed spice directly from Arrakis. It's not the same as what I produce over on Spice World, but uh, <laughs> you know, money's money. We can make this work. Yes, indeed. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, I, I want I want spicy poops to respond to you uh, <laughs> someday. Someday. <laughs> Maybe um, the very last second in our just shakes <laughs> around in the finale <laughs> jar, the fishbowl. Um, <laughs> You, uh, you start heading in, and as you get around the corner looking in, I mean, definitely there is some ridiculous mechanical malfunction going on up ahead. Uh, you hear people shouting. Uh, a couple of them are kind of running around, but uh, trying to get away. A couple running towards it with uh, with big towels, just trying to, to knock the smoke away, uh, some sort of emergency equipment. Um, but as you make your way inside, uh, trying to get in, I don't know if the spice is your goal at this point or to see what the explosion is all about. Oh, it's still the um, spice, but I'm very curious about that explosion. If the two could happen at the same time, you're like along the way, then, sure. you know, we'll, we'll take that trip. <laughs> okay. Um, you get into that chamber and this is the same chamber. They're both here. Uh, you see uh, a couple of the bricks have, have kind of like backed up and run into each other. A couple fallen off the conveyor belt um, over by the processing center. Uh, Cause the place is just, just uh, awful, filled with smoke. Uh, the machine, the compressor itself, seems to be jammed, and there's just this loud, jarring noise come from it, coming from it. Um, one of the workers has jumped up onto the conveyor belt, oh, no. um, and they basically have like like uh, a long pike, pretty much like a rake or something, and they're they're trying to to dig in there. Uh, and you can hear them shouting out to the other crew members around. There's a there's a blockage jamming up the compression plates. Uh, it's another you creosote bush. Get uh. out of there! Have you never heard of health and safety? Is this, like, <laughs> it, what are you doing? <laughs> what it's 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 another creosote bush. I mean, they they gotta they gotta weed the spice before they unload it on the uh, up here. This is ridiculous. I uh, don't. It'll just be a second. We'll have this fixed in no time. <laughs> I'm gonna hesitate. Okay. I mean, they're they're digging in there. Uh, there's little pieces coming out. Um, kind of yanking on the thing. It looks pretty difficult. Um, but you you feel pretty confident that your, your health and safety read was spot on. Um, <laughs> gonna continue to hesitate? Good. Good. <laughs> Looking over? I don't have any ability. Barter. I can barter. Um, <laughs> oh. If you come down right now, we can probably, we can organize a little something something. I just, I, just, I need you to step down from the machinery. I, I, I can't. Uh, the, the commander is going to be mad if this thing isn't up and running in minutes. Your commander <laughs> is. Don't even think about them. Just, just step down slow, slowly, please, and put down that that poking stick. You, you get like when you say don't even think about the commander. There is like a wave of fear crosses their face. You know, they, they, you don't think they're capable of not thinking about the commander, honestly. Mm -hmm. What, what, what do you, what do you need right now? What do you, what do you desire? I just, I just need this thing out of here so I can, I can get spice production back under, under commission. Uh, it, come on, come on. And he just keeps digging away at it, trying to pry this, uh, this huge metallic bush out of here. Is the one person that I don't know if I actually need and or want to be here, Agent Brad Montana, <laughs> almost here. The three of them are are moving up pretty quick. Uh, the doctor, uh, the <laughs> agents, and uh, and uh, excuse me, Overgone as well. Three okay. of them are all moving through the hallways again pretty quickly, although they don't have goggles on, I don't think. So it's a little tougher for them to get through. Uh, how are you two at, at dealing with this situation? Are you prepared for it? Can you do you run in immediately or do you hang back? I run in. Um, I, I, I have to help and get my hands dirty and everything. So that's my plan. OK. Uh, I go good. in unobtrusively kind of into a side and I'll just look at the machinery to see if I can see anything that they're doing wrong that I think I should suggest otherwise. But uh, otherwise, I watch an expendable resource perhaps be expended. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I prepare right, to boost right. morale afterwards. As <laughs> Excellent. OK, this is a good series of events. Um, all right. So. Um, Agent Brad Montana rushes around the corner and kind of sees what's going on. Um, I mean, that machine is making a lot of noise. Uh, you could definitely tell that it is it is completely jammed. Uh, will will this person immediately be be uh, chomped by a machine? I don't know. It kind of depends. Um, 
what are you going to do? Uh, uh, I will say before that, actually, Parmoon, you see that everyone is focused on this. No one's focused on those bricks over there. There's a few just uh, kind of laying on the ground. <laughs> and if you want to grab opportunist. one. I'm an opportunist. I would <laughs> like to be... gather two. I'm going to let. What happens if like a sand trout eats spice? Are Regular. they like. It's just nothing. Like it's just like it's ultra like, refined. That's like happens a lot. Yeah, I think. I think they're so. Just, they're always getting in. Yeah, getting really. in among that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They, they, I think they like it. Probably. Yeah. It's like a nice snack okay. from time to time. Okay, Fair yeah. Enough. One brick for spicy poops and one for me. Excellent. All right, two bricks. That just leaves Brad Montana. Yeah. With, uh, with the move, what do you want to do? No, I'm just like I'm. I'm diving in. I'm. I'm seeing what this other person is doing. I'm looking at the machinery. I'm just. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to get in it. Okay. Because I can't help myself but to get into trouble. So what what options do you see? Do you do you want to try and like uh, mess with this machine? Do you want to try and go and just yank this person clear? Because one of those is uh, is pretty dangerous. Uh, let's go. Let's go with. Uh, well, I don't care about the person. I care about the machine. So uh, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with trying to fix the machine. All right. Uh, perfect. Oh, uh, you you kind of run over to it. You see it. You know, clunking. The the whole machine is kind of shaking in its housing. Um, this is going to be definitely an understand check to kind of figure out what's going on with this thing and see if you can fix it. All right. Uh, you know, maybe deductive reasoning. I'm in. That makes sense. Uh, all right. I love it. Um, let's see here. So this is. Uh, I think this is going to be a power play. Um, I want it to be a power play just because it, it it feels like I'm more, you know, like I said, I'm more concerned about the machine than the person. <laughs> and, that, and, that, and that feels kind of cold and kind of greedy. <laughs> right. Fair enough. Fair enough. I like it. Um, trying to save the machine. This is pretty difficult at this point. Um, well, yeah, it is pretty difficult at this point. This thing seems to be shaking a whole lot. This is going to be a difficulty three task. Okay. But um, I like it. Yeah, so I have two dice. I have uh, one focus so far. Okay. Uh, I mean, momentum. We're a sitting here momentum. on five momentum. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and use a momentum, which will put me up to three dice. Mm -hmm. All right. You and can have focus. spend two more to get an additional dice. Oh, I don't. If you want. I'm okay. I'm okay, okay. with that. All right, here we All go. Right. Rolling it up. Who we? Look at that. Looky here. Woo! Oh, you gain a momentum back with this absolute success. Uh, you are able to uh, to tinker with this machine, to get in here, to start messing around with it, to carefully not not like tear the wires out, but get this thing shut down in pretty short order. And with the four successes, you do it soon enough that uh, you can see the the workers kind of their foot slip as they they pull this thing out and uh, and the conveyor belt shuts down just at the perfect time to avoid uh some uh bloody mangling from going on so congratulations you've saved one worker but more than that you've fixed the machine so the spice can continue to flow <laughs> well that was my real concern <laughs> i know seems like it wow uh, uh, way to go you were there did, other uh people good. in this room <laughs> there are other members of the crew here. Yes, indeed. Um, they're kind of uh, looking around, uh, all of them standing back and just kind of watching say, the madness. They... Three cheers for the House of Posh helping you in this moment. And I'll try to influence them to do that. <laughs> I need to roll. I, I bring it on. Yeah. They, yeah, they start right. looking around. There's like, who's that? I'm going to do communicate. Shake, shake, hurrah. Shake, shake, hurrah. Do they make our our lunches? Is that who they are? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, that's got us. Two with uh, two successes. That was pretty good. You uh you raise them the the group is yeah, yes, they're the ones who make our lunches. They saved us. <laughs> um there is a quick a three cheers. Oh wow. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> the generosity. <laughs> They uh they start rushing over, extremely excited. I mean, they make sure that this this one worker is safely off, um and uh, and taken care of, that they're not hurt or anything. To have them sit down, it's uh. But you're the one who really gets this room cheering for Agent Brad Montana and the House of Posh. Very nice. Um, excellent. Well, whew, 
you take a little bit of time in here, kind of calming down. People start looking around and, and realizing that the spice isn't being processed. It's not being packaged. Let's get that stuff under wraps pretty quickly. So a couple, a group runs over there and uh, all of the bricks that are on the conveyor belt, they start wrapping up and packaging for, for processing. Um, no one noticing that two have just gone missing from the floor. Excellent. Um, and uh, as you're poking around here, right, it's kind of resting up a little bit, looking at this machine. I mean, uh, Agent Brad Montana, you feel like you can get this thing up and working relatively quickly. Um, mm -hmm. Obergon comes over to help out as well, and the two of you kind of start tinkering around with it. And uh, she mentions to you really quickly that uh, she's not sure this was a natural event, natural mechanic. Oh, gosh. Uh, she's worried there might be some foul play. I mean, this is... The the commander there, commander is uh is make sure that repairs don't happen on time. But this is still a little bit much. I mean, we usually clear these things out uh, back in our weeding process and the early early processing of the spice. I mean, getting a cross creosote bush in here to mess this whole thing up, jamming this machine should be able to handle this. Are you implying that the captain of this year rig is sabotaging it? I. I don't know. I don't know. I just I haven't seen a disaster like this in some time. I'm glad you were here to save it. We'd be we'd be out of a out of the game for at least a week getting a new uh, new compressor lined up. Interesting. Well, I will have to make note of that. Indeed. Anything else we should be making note of? She has no other notes for you. <laughs> um but uh, jumping way over to the other side of the ship, uh, the explosion, the rattling. By the time you follow uh, our dear commander away, um, the clanking sound, the smoke, there's no sign of it even. Um, he goes heading back towards uh, kind of the rear of the ship. Things are much calmer back here. Still kind of filthy, but there's not as many people moving around. Um, uh, are you trying to be stealthy? Are you trying to follow or is, does he know you're there? I would love to stealth because I want to see where he goes. Okay. Sounds when he good. doesn't think he's being watched. Am I also because I'm this is where I am. Am I am I stealthing also? Is uh, that would you like to? Yeah. I, I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna follow my, follow the lead of my my commander. Sounds you know. good. All right. For now. Uh then um let's see. Quietly heading through here, uh trying to remain unseen uh is no problem mm -hmm. at all. I'm gonna take a quick Quick look. Uh, yeah, you're good. Oh, we have a focus in stealth. All right. Yes. yes I'm not going to make you roll for this. This is <laughs> okay. great. Um, you're good. You've got it under control. Um, you follow the uh, the commander as the commander steps backwards, heading towards what seems to be like uh, crew quarters back here. Sigh, take a deep breath, turn away, um, head up towards the, the, the surface of the ship, like up to one of the loading docks. Look around, kind of see people cleaning around in here and he just kind of looks oh that's good it's good everything's fine um and eventually heads down to a warehouse in the back just checking out the spice making sure that the crates are all around here there is a a set of thopters up above and people are are slowly loading these crates into the thopters for the weekly deliveries um seems to just be doing a, a routine inspection of the rest of the ship to avoid dealing with a, a disaster yeah i take out my fork and knife and silently, no clinking, signal mm -hmm. to Trohai. And I say, how interesting that the commander of this freighter or this flying fortress went in the opposite direction of an explosion, almost as if maybe he expected it to happen. Yeah, he didn't seem concerned so much as he just wanted to not deal with it. Right. Be there, but like I, I mean, we are literally floating in the air, like an explosion. There's no harmless explosion unless it's one you planned. Right. Uh, I, I, I would. I'm going. I'm sort of adjusting my read on some of those put off repairs. I think he might be actively sabotaging. Mm -hmm. which, so who profits from that is the question. Mm -hmm. Who profits from this particular carryall? bringing in less spice. And I well, wonder if the same thing is happening. Is the same thing happening all over the planet? Right. Is somebody sabotaging? Who's, who currently rules here? The Harkonnens? I, I wouldn't know that. But... At the moment, yeah. it is under Imperial control. 
Oh, but so the Harkonnens were the previous, uh, right? We, hmm. I'm put, I'm putting this in the books just before the Harkonnens take control of governance over the planet. So oh, they, okay. they are not in control okay. yet, but they are, they are vying for it. Oh, okay. okay, all right. So, hmm, yes, this is very curious. Um, uh, I want to, I actually would love to double back and, and like really check out his office or his quarters if we can like find his Ooh, quarters. Yeah. I want to do some deep snooping on this person. Ooh, all right. Sounds good yeah, to me. I'm I mean, down. you can. Let's you you it. saw it. You you have a, a good read on the ship. I mean, like I said, this place is pretty pretty clear. I mean, there's people, but uh, you feel like you could get back there pretty easily. Okay, since we know he's um, like trying to look busy out here on a different yeah. deck. Yeah, is is his office and quarters the same? Yeah, do we see like a um, like a like a cot? Just... Yeah, maybe maybe a pile of greasy rags, perhaps. <laughs> I don't know how up. he lives. Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> hanging too. from the ceiling. Um... <laughs> Uh, you, uh, as you were going through, I would say in the crew quarters, you do see uh, one of them does have a commander's logo on it. Oh, uh, icon. There we go. Yes. Uh, you feel like you know where you're going. Let's break right. in. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. All, All right. right. I'm, I'm along for this. So, uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> you've you've oh, yeah. followed the commander for some time. Hopefully, he won't be coming back this way anytime soon. And you head back down to uh, to the crew quarters and kind of sneak yourself in. Um, there are a, a few people around, but that's no problem for uh, for folks like you. People are not looking at you. I mean, we, we mentioned that earlier, right? They're trying to, to stay away. It's pretty loud. Uh, it's one of our traits for the, the grief. So you get through a couple clicks. Um, um, actually, yeah. Breaking Visit down the, the door, grief. The it's door loud. Open, yeah. Yeah, it's loud, yeah. And italics. <laughs> woo um, You get inside uh, pretty easily. Uh, hmm. It seems like most people stay out of here out of fear uh, more than anything else. And hmm. you look around, and it's, this place is a mess. It's gross. You know, this is just um, uh, we'll get the worst... Uh, college living situation there is, you know, dishes stacked on one side, just covered in in food, um, you know, like seventeen cartons maybe from uh, from the house of posh for uh, for uh, freeze dried dinners. Uh, open that seal, heats right up, you know. I, I immediately comment. I'm like, oh, that's no good. Nobody should mm -hmm. be eating that much of our food. That, and like, also, I don't even. That's... I don't eat that much of our food. Like... <laughs> also, he chose the worst, like the the cheapest one that we make. Yeah, what is like this? Oh man, eating. I've never seen like chicken thighs and peas in the wild, but here yeah. we go. Yeah, yeah, we that was like I think I think we designed that one as a joke. Yeah. Like, oh my god, this guy's living. It's what is very the point sad. of living of living here? Of like you're theoretically rich, but also, in, in... well, if he's you know what I wanted to find out if maybe he has some uh, unspoken alliances, like if someone is maybe paying him under on the side to sabotage the rig to uh, make them look good. But I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah, can, I actually yeah, would like to I search mean, to see if there's like yeah. hidden money I'm or just, something, but I'm based on this, aloud, I'm I like, don't know. It's a, it's, <laughs> he works on a, like a spice factory. Like mm -hmm. who could be paying him more than he, who could be paying him more? Like, I'm just like, yeah, articulate. Yeah. who could be paying him more to sabotage like a wealth factory this thing produces yeah. the most valuable substance in the universe how much would you have to be paid to like that would be worth more than doing the job well and just stealing spice like why why, why mm -hmm. wouldn't he just do that like who's unless unless oh shit i was hoping i would think of something i, I really don't know <laughs> unless he is <laughs> unless he is maybe he unless is, he is? yeah Maybe he is. Um, yes. Can I do a sweep of the, this room? And I would, I would like yep. to do it in a way that it doesn't look like things have been disturbed. So I guess that's stealthing again that's too. Good. Yeah. I mean, you could use your stealth for this. I, this feels like. Let's see. What's a what's what skill are we going to use for searching? All right. Um, so skill. Um, uh, I'm just. I guess understand. Right. Understand is a pretty good one, especially if you want to figure out like motives or things like that. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Um, yeah. And then um, I think either duty or tr well, truth. No, it's my lowest drive, but honestly, I think truth is going to be the it most is the accurate one that makes the here. most sense. Yeah. 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 
Uh, can you assist me on this, Drohai? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Of course. Yeah, so an I'm understand happy to check assist. with any drive you need. I'm and then... literally a computer. That is literally my function <laughs> as, a, as a living creature is to assist uh, in this Ooh. fashion. Wow, how do I, I am how do... not rolling well today. <laughs> do I just roll one? Is that... Yep, you're going to well, roll one. Day, well, I didn't get any successes, though. Oh, I can't assist on a zero. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Right. unless can I can I re oh, I don't have any reroll like talents or anything. Dang, it, I would love to reroll this. I really want to yeah. know these these <laughs> truths. Right. I would say that the two of you get kind of hung up because uh, while the room is pretty slovenly overall, there's one section of it. There's like a, a table and a chair that, that seem very nice. Kind of at the table, there is a coffee table book of different planets uh, around the galaxy. Uh, talking like vacation destinations is what it all mostly looks like. Um, there's also right next to it a, a clothes rack and it's got a bunch of his uniforms here, all immaculately cleaned uh, and cared for. Um, so there are some things the commander cares about. Just mm -hmm. I'm pointing these. I'm like, things. what doesn't fit here? Yeah, what's the like? I'm checking the thread count on these uniforms. Does it seem? And, and uh, you know what? I'm going to remember Ooh. Ooh. using my thing that I can do. <laughs> uh, the uniform was he was wearing when we we met him. How did that look? Uh, it, it looked similar to these. Yeah, not bad at okay. all. I mean, it wasn't he wasn't wearing it like very in a formal way. It was kind of untucked, but uh, but it was nicely made. Interesting. Yeah, I remembered his appearance. Like, like maybe he made a show of not like looking nice for us, just to sort of same with that. Well, he's reading that memo. God, that burned me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's, he's big leaguing us but again. Weird. Mm -hmm. Weird. Indeed. Very Indeed. strange. Hmm. Yeah. You've taken a bit of time looking around, trying to see if you can find anything in his quarters. Uh, nothing really jumps out at you as this is the the evidence you're looking for uh as you poke around but i don't know i don't know right. oh, um, darn okay maybe we should um, meet up with the maybe we should join up what do you think yeah 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 let's maybe, meet maybe up there's some them. more of that spice you know we could could be mm -hmm. well nisha might not go well if we get a brick of that spice we're set for life it's very valuable you know, yeah. this does. You know, maybe House Posh doesn't work out. Who knows? You know, House I'm Posh will work out. We are. We will be a great house. House Posh <laughs> will be fine. I. I don't know how things are going to go for us vis-a-vis -vis status. I, look, I, you're going to be fine. Look, you. You know what? Forget I said anything. You'll be well, fine. I'm, my mission just, in life is to make sure this house is fine. Right. Right. And I. You're going to do it. I believe in you so much, and I'm going to help you. I think in you're every just saying way. that now. You're very perceptive. I, I was very <laughs> foolish to try to lie to a Betty Jezzeret. <laughs> Let's just get back to the rest of the group before I embarrass us all further. I'm just imagining what it looks like when the two of you walk in. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, just like. Like sheepish, sheepish, tucking, <laughs> tucking. I want to stop talking. We're all like, what did he do? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, just don't worry about it. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, if you were headed back towards the noise, I mean, finding, while the noise has stopped at this point, there's still smoke in the, the hallways, uh, slowly airing out of this carryall. Um, so you can make your way back and, and join up with the group relatively soon. Um, as, as you've been back here trying to deal with this mess, um, We've got some some spice bricks hidden away, of course. We've inspired the workers here to support the House of Posh. They seem very excited about it, uh, especially this one worker who has been physically saved, um, though uh, not on purpose uh, by <laughs> Agent Brad Montana. <laughs> still counts. Still counts. Still counts. Um, uh, yeah, so it's kind of checking this place out with, uh, with Obergon's kind of thoughts that this might be some sort of a uh, deliberate attempt. Um, what would you want to do with that information? Let's get back to this group. Um, well, I think with that information, um, I'd want to, of course, inform my companions who are with me, but then also look for the companions who separated. Separated, um, but also while while this is going on, I'm trying to think of a plan to you know, uncover more of this information. Like, what do I know about the way, you know, general layouts of large 
uh, machinery that houses people, like or, or, or you know, some some kind of knowledge that uh, way mm -hmm. to know how I can get to where this captain might be keeping his stuff, if there's a, even that uh, potentiality. Gotcha. Yeah, some kind of proof. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. The uh, you can make a, some assumptions about where the crew quarters probably are on the ship. I would say. Um, okay. So if you wanted to actually start heading back that way with the group, you totally could. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I, you know, I'll say, you know, and I'll, I'll say to everyone, I'll say, well, we reckon that this here ship is being purposely sabotaged. So uh, I, I reckon we should go and check out some of the uh, quarters and see if we can find a little bit more about this. And then I start kind uh, of maneuvering my way. Step through a couple more okay. bulkheads, moving through the, uh, uh, you know, the different wires hanging. And soon enough, you see the two other members of House Posh doing the same thing, coming your direction. Uh, you meet up in a, I mean, I, it's, I can't call it a quiet corridor because this place is ridiculously loud. But at the very least, there aren't any people nearby. So you have some moments to yourselves mm -hmm. to kind of share what you've learned. Is, um, is uh, um, Jaris with us? Jaris Aragon? Um, that is a good question. Um, let's see. She was thinking about uh, what could have happened here and uh, and has some things that she is interested in checking out, if you like. Um, otherwise, uh, she could come with you, either one. Um, no, why doesn't she go check those things out? And then okay. we'll we'll yeah. all reconvene later. Yeah. I we trust her. She's meeting. my friend. <laughs> mm. <laughs> all right. I am friend of Jaris Oberon. Overgone. Your your traits indeed, right? <laughs> yep. Agent Montana, and through him, the House of Posh is a hero to the people on the carryall now. Mm hmm. That's true. Mm. Oh, that's good to hear. Indeed. Hmm. Yeah. Um, also, um, in Parmoon, we'll pull out like the brick of spice. I like the um, brick. I like that the brick, <laughs> the only brick of spice. Well, no one. Uh, if anybody was interested in some, I'm just like casually. Drow high, yes. Are you just like I'm? Like I'm? I'm just like taking yeah. the brick. Take oh. Thank you. Some some of it, not the whole brick. This is for us to share. Oh, sure. This is my contribution to the group since I was otherwise distracted and I forgot really what our purpose here was because I have my own goals. Our, our goals are all aligned. All right. Well, not... we'll divide it up later. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. Just tucking the yeah, entire yeah, yeah, brick yeah. into my pocket. I'm like, <laughs> but I'm, okay, not, but I'm, okay. not, I'm not going to rip off Herman. Like, we, we know yeah, each other. You well hold enough. on to that. I yeah, trust you. Yeah, I got you. I got you. And I assume this is the only one you found, also. Oh, of course. I mm -hmm. definitely and haven't like, spicy known you for years. A little square, <laughs> like a little rectangle shaped right now, and less noodle shaped. Um, almost like spicy poops might be shaped like that same brick that you have hidden away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm just, probably with, with, with my with my powerful computer brain. I, I, I and. Uh, love of Looney Tunes cartoons. I recognize yeah. what's up here. Yeah. yeah. Delightful. So <laughs> we have a uh, Well, this is excellent. Um, and just, just so we all know, right, the, the spice, we keep talking about exactly what it is, right? Um, without mentioning the benefits of the spice, uh, beyond making the Imperium run, right, uh, consuming the spice could bestow longevity, uh, enhanced awareness, uh, potentially allow prescient visions of a future to come. Um, but is also uh, has some uh, some you know negative symptoms as well. What? So, no, those right. are just those are just hearsay. Just a few. Um, but uh, but yeah. So the beyond the space, the spacing guild needing it for galactic travel uh, can be used personally for you know things. <laughs> um, excellent. Hmm. All right. I think the great question that is asked now is whether. It is true that this commander is deliberately sabotaging their own station. Well, we did follow him. And, oh. uh, well, first of all, he went in the opposite direction after that explosion, which we thought was very odd. But he just kind of pretended to be checking on different things in different workers and sections. And then we went to his quarters and we had difficulty really pinpointing anything but... Um, I, I do suspect he's sabotaging and maybe he's hiding something. 
but I have no hmm. proof of that. It's just a feeling. We need that proof. Precisely. Yeah. Well, if that proof exists, where else could you find it if it's not there in the, the commander's quarters? Well, I was thinking we go back to his office and if he has any type of call logs, maybe we can hack into that and hear them with our computer brain person here. <laughs> we could. Do you think this guy is the guy, though? I, I mean, we should at least rule him out, right? Fair enough. All right. Yeah. If nothing else is, nothing else, nothing else grips us, sure. Yeah. All right. That seems pretty reasonable. So, uh, mm -hmm. so it sounds like the group kind of packs up and starts heading back towards the, the bridge looking for additional clues, potentially back here. Um, yes. Make your way we back and, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, uh, we need someone on lookout in case he comes back. Oh, I can do that. I don't mind. I've, oh. I've accomplished what I want to do here. <laughs> okay. While we're, while we're making our way back to the bridge, and including when we're up to the bridge, I'm, I'm going to use what, what I've kind of sorted out mechanically to see if there's any other spots of obvious sabotage um, or, um, you know, things like that to try to get a, a little bit ahead of the captain. Um, you know, I have a mind for strategy, mm -hmm. so um, I, maybe that would uh, assist me in, in, in kind of, uh, you know, picking out something maybe on the walk that's out of place or uh, something that I pre re can reasonably predict that the uh, captain is going to do next. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I think that's going to be an understand check uh, and take you mm -hmm. a little bit of time while that's going on. So you're kind of going to be separated from the, the bridge area while that happens. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. Sounds good. Um, over on the bridge, uh, sounded like Parmoon is going to be on watch, keeping an eye on things while everyone else goes and searches the place. Mm -hmm. okay. Maybe consuming some spice. Who knows? <laughs> sure. Maybe. Sure. Just, just, just All right. a little bit. <laughs> Excellent. Um, well, I, I, the two of you, I mean, well, the three of you, rather, uh, the, the Dr. Drohai and Jaselnika, who are looking around in the office, um, you you seem to have a little bit of time. Uh, last time, you you just very quickly looked through a few things here. Uh, but this time, you're, you're giving it the real search, like trying to find out if there's uh, panels in the walls or drawers or all sorts of things that could be hiding things. Um, so uh, let's see. I want to get... Um, Let's do another searching check. Let's do another understand check. I need understand checks. Uh, I also need one uh, eventually from our good friend Brad Montana. So think, oh, I can do that. Be thinking yeah. about how you want to do that. Um, so who's going to make the understand check as you are searching this area? Uh, who has the highest understand? Mine is five. Seven. Oh, that is my th that is my I am that is the thing that I do. Yes. Then maybe you should do it. <laughs> I just I, 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 I try to not keep putting myself forward on this because i don't want it's it's a, it's a narrative it's a narrative and investigation style game and i don't want to be like no i'm the world's greatest detective at the computer <laughs> I, I will take control of the scene every time yeah uh here That's we go all, right. all what we were made yeah, yeah. let me see hold on yeah, take it away got my okay that's gonna be i think truth on this that makes Figure perfect sense mm -hmm. that and so is, how many dies is that gonna be that's gonna be two or three what's so, uh, so this is going to be. Let's see. This is two dice. You have your focus because you have you are attentive to detail, of course. Mm -hmm. um, this is. I mean, as you look around, this could be a daunting task. So I'm going to make the difficulty two here. Um, okay. Use, more than that. use some okay. momentum. Yeah, get an okay. extra die. Oh, okay. Absolutely. I think actually, if I use one. Oh, and I can. Uh... No, we got enough die. We got enough die. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Using focus. Yes. Boom. Look at okay. that. Very nice. So yes, one that day. was using uh, using one momentum, right? But you get it back because you beat the successes by one or the difficulty. By Love one. it. Perfect. So easy. It's so easy. You you start poking around this place and you really focus on kind of where you think this commander would hide something in this room, right? And uh, and as you're looking around, you start thinking back to the the other room, right, where his his big coffee table book is he liked everything. I, I almost, sight. I almost yeah. said I wanted to flip through the coffee table book. I was like, what Ooh, no, no, you just, you, you think about being in the chair and looking at the things that you kind of want. Um, and you see that across the room, there is this panel in the wall that you really think there is, is a, a, 
a little uh, recess behind. Mm -hmm. Step over real quick, pry it open. It takes almost no effort, and there is a hidden panel back here. Ooh. Hidden panel. Um, um, I go to pry it open, and then I... Oh, yeah, sorry. No, no sorry, go ahead. Uh, inside I, are a couple things. <laughs> it would just be in character, I think, for me to point out the hidden panel and then kind of hang back uh, uh, just in case... It was a sabotage hidden panel. I'm like, I'm like, mm -hmm. found it. Like, I don't say like someone else do it. I'm like, I found something. Mm -hmm. But then nobody, nobody moves forward because everybody, <laughs> these people know me too well. So I open, <laughs> I open the panel. <laughs> Excellent. Um, yes. Uh, inside there are some uh, some documents. Uh, certainly, one is a, a pretty massive logbook uh, that says um, uh, uh, mechanical repair schedule. Uh, looks like this document in particular, this logbook, is is people going in and actually doing repairs on specific places around here. Kind of the individual reports um, that come out of it. Probably the the paper you found earlier. This is what generates that piece of paper. Hmm. So, could, uh, yeah, go ahead. Could there be something about it that uh, a hidden code there, some sort of marks that indicate some sort of subterfuge? That could be. Could be. I mean, the, the quick flip through, um, as you're, you're looking for it, you, you do see some notes about spice compressors in particular. Um, you go back to kind of recent history, uh, just looking through, you don't see anything that seems to be like, you know, like a, um, an, an obvious code or any attempt at coded language. Things here, here seem pretty clear. Um, but in the most recent history section, you do see that there are um, a few mechanics who are kind of in charge of this section. Um, but within the last week, uh, one of those mechanics has suddenly started working on the spice compressors. Um, and you look for the name, the signature says Euler on it. Hmm. Wait, the signature is like the name is Euler or it's like it a is, signature and then Euler? It is Corinth Euler and oh. Euler uh, being, um, oh gosh, I always think about the mathematician. So it's E-U-L-E-R. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. I thought it was just like a really oily person. Me too. Is that what you. Oily? <laughs> just an oily <laughs> thumbprint in a drag yeah. across the line. Yeah. Could be both. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, though? Well, so, looks like we have uh, someone to speak with. We have another lead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well it is done, interesting Trohai. The captain did hide this. I do my best. So it's not just that mm -hmm. this person is associated, but the captain perhaps is in on this. Yes. Yeah, Why is the... this book behind the hidden panel? Mm -hmm. I assume the captain directs <laughs> who goes and does these things. Is that why this he has this log book, I guess? Seems yeah. like it. Seems to have direct control over that sort of thing. Hmm. Are there any record of accidents? Any other record? Like, is there... Um, let's see. That, that would be reasonable in this book. Um, I want to see if he's sending yeah. the same person, if there's any connection between sending this person Maybe a week or two later, something goes wrong. Since this guy, like, is this is this his go-to screw-up guy? I see, yeah. Um, as you're looking through, it actually looks like this person worked specifically in the engine room for the last oh. few years and was really just moved uh, over here, just somehow took charge of these spice compressors over the last week. Um, so you don't see them moving around or anything like that. There are notes about accidents, um, but as you look through it with a practiced eye looking for patterns, you don't notice anything like that. Hmm. Can, Chaotic incompetence seems like mm, intentional. Can, more can than we likely. can we check to see if Euler, if there were any incidents in the engine room while Euler, Euler was still working there? Yes, uh, there there were. Uh, they were minor sorts of things. There didn't seem to be anything that uh, that caused like major repercussions on the ship. As you look through, most of it just looks like routine uh, failure needs to be repaired, stuff like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, not especially as as Brad Montana takes a look at it. That that stuff doesn't look shocking. That just looks like regular wear and tear. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, okay. So thoughts? Should we find this Euler person and interrogate them? I do enjoy an interrogation. <laughs> as yeah, I brought I. my cord. I brought my weird cord. I'm happy to use that. I just like just like picking up like remember I have this? It's not a worm. It's, it's you know, it's like a weird binding cord. Oh no! We lost our GM. 
Oh, oh no! Oh, no, that was, the, that was the proper ah, ah. My brain. Oh, thank God. Aha! <laughs> Is he back? For his yes. next not, not a frantic moment of panic on ah, my end at all. Okay, back. cool. I love it. It turns 7 o'clock and suddenly, boom. <laughs> so suddenly everyone yeah. in your area turns on the internet. Welcome. Exactly. That's the spectrum promise, baby. Uh, <laughs> Oh, wow. Um, I thought a worm got him. Oh, oh. <laughs> so scary. <Well. laughs> um, yeah, yeah. You do feel like even though you have just this one name, right? So that it should be pretty easy to find this character on this large ship because um, they're, I mean, they're a mechanic. They should be around the area, right? They're, they're kind of, I mean, it's a wonder you didn't already see them in the spice compressing area. That seems to be we where they're, they're tasked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, let's just go looking for this person. Okay. All right. All right. And we can ask some of these now friendly people. Oh, that yeah. is a good mm -hmm. point. Oh, we're yeah. new friends. I'm like, I turn, I turn, I'm like, what? How'd y'all do that? <laughs> do what? How'd, why are you, why are, we have, we have, we've got fans now? I, I mean, I'm oh, into Oh, right. Uh, yeah. How did that happen? I, I reckon <laughs> when you do the right thing, people like you. Hmm. I think the Bene Gesserit knows that the powers of uh, manipulation are quite powerful. I like oh, that. Yes. I like that answer better. That one doesn't challenge my worldview as much. <laughs> <laughs> as much. Thank you. Excellent. Well, I, I will totally say that you have earned, uh, because of your inspiration in here, I mean, you have made the crew friendly towards you. So uh, it's not going to take any persuasion, really, to get them to talk to you about what's going on. They were avoiding you before, but now they are on your team. Um, think, you think this takeover would be pretty easy? No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but as you start heading through, uh, they, they seem excited to, to talk to you and, uh, and answer your questions. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh welcome. welcome some viewers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> welcome, Raiders. Oh wait. Always we got good. <laughs> um, um yeah. I would like to just take a look at do they do they have like name badges? They do, yes. Yeah, just kind of like on the edge of their still suit. Um you look around and uh and you're seeing a couple of folks around here. Um let's see, certainly you see uh you see Alestra, you see Yen over there. Uh, Michaela, it's another worker here. Bill, Bill, I, and Bill. I, I'd like to look <laughs> for Euler. Uh, ooh, you look around and you do not see anyone with a name tag that says Euler. Okay, I'd like to just sidle up to a friendly-looking worker and quietly, so that not you know not the whole room can hear. I'd like to say, ah, you all work so hard here. Oh. It is Thank very, you. it's very inspiring, the work you do. We are uh, unsung heroes of the spice trade. I thank you so much Absolutely. for noticing. Absolutely. It is an honor to be up front, up close to see wow. you work the spice the way you do. Well, uh, it's so nice of you to say hi. My, my, my name's Bill. Uh, it's, uh, hi. <laughs> hi. 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 <laughs> Hello. I'm Giselle Nika. Hello, Bill. Um, are, are, are you, you come to view us, right? That's what the uh, the commander had said, kind of checking out the operations here. Right? Yes, yes, good, yes. Good. To appreciate and admire. Uh, I just wanted to know, are there any uh, other team members here in the Spice Compression m Committee, Management Committee, that oh. are not present today? Oh, yeah. Is this your actually. whole team? No, I mean, uh, for the last week or so, we've had uh, we've had this guy, uh, Euler, out here. Um, uh not showing up to work today. I'm not exactly sure uh, sure where he's gone. Are these the uh, same workers that we rescued, like, specifically? Okay. Yes. Um, and, and suddenly he wasn't yeah. here the day the uh, the thing went to, to mud. Yeah. All right. And yeah. what does Euler do? What is their job usually? Uh, getting mad at the commander is what it seems like, you know? Um, uh, kind of loud, pretty, pretty off. I mean, this seemed like kind of a punishment. Uh, guy really likes the the engine room, so uh, did oh, was unhappy the first few days back here with spice compressors. Oh, how unfortunate! Just the um, first few. Just, just the, the first, first few days. Year. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. What, then, then what seemed, changed? You know, pretty content, I suppose. I mean, around here, you got to be you got to be at least marginally happy. Otherwise, this this whole job is is really really tough. Mm. 
you know? So we, we started getting to talk in. It seemed to be friendly with the, the whole team here. Okay. But just today... Reeling, reeling from, like, the psychic damage of hearing that, just, like, it's just the saddest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, like, tearing me up inside. Yeah. It's tough out here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, a uh, real quick shout out to Aubrey Cello who donated thirty bucks. Thank oh, you so much! Thank you. And happy birthday, Aubrey! And happy birthday! Oh, happy birthday! Ooh, happy day of birth! <laughs> if only we knew uh, someone who had a birthday song. Mm. I'll write it for her and sing it, and it will be terrible. <laughs> that's, a, that's a really sweet offer, though. <laughs> um, yes, yes. So. Uh, they, they seem to be on, on board, seem to be a little bit friendly, but yeah, they're not exactly sure why he's gone. But today he is gone. Well, Bill, it was uh, so lovely to... Do my colleagues have any other questions for this wonderful worker here? Well, hi, well, everybody. My, name, my name's Bill. Yes. Hi, hi Bill. Hi. I, was, I was wondering if, um, if you could tell me what this feller oiler looked like. Uh, I mean, I mean... Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wearing kind of an outfit, kind of like uh, like this, uh, you know, still suit covering most thing. Uh, not. Uh, I don't know. Would you say tall? Like not tall, but not. You know. You know. Um, uh, she had some hair, but it was it was pretty uh pretty greasy, pretty oily, pretty dark. So you can't tell me nothing. Uh, lots of like smudge marks for a lot of dirt. I mean. Uh, so I, I and I just grab whatever worker I can reach out to. So kind of like this one, <laughs> or that one, or that one, <laughs> or this one. <laughs> uh, they seem on. they, like, they seem like, like discontented and like a you know like a, like like lightly wounded, you know, yeah. aggrieved, well, uh, exploited, for sure. Okay. Uh, I, I would say no, no, no. That's that's Yen right there. I can tell because Yen's been on, down on the the surface recently. It's kind of cleaned up a little bit. You can tell, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can no. we? Can we tell? Okay. <laughs> maybe maybe two weeks out, but but Euler's pretty filthy. At yeah. This so, point, you, so you rub you rub sand on him recently. That's yeah. 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 Like that. He looks yeah. like he has had sand rubbed on him. I can. Yeah. 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 If that's what you were going for, you nailed it. Yeah. Perfect. Excellent. Uh... Good. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. You Dude. were a real help, Bill. How would you like to I be captain of this ship? Well, I, I guess, <laughs> no, 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 no. I gotta, I gotta put, I gotta put the work in before I move up to like upper management around here. Oh, that's yeah. true. I wasn't going to promote you. I can't do that. I was just asking. You were just asking. Yeah, I was just asking. <laughs> wow. People don't talk about my ambitions very often. This is really nice. Uh, captain I like to know things. Nice. Yeah. You know, really like like head of engineering. That's kind of where I see myself in about five, ten years. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. Well, you keep in at it, Bill. Engineering, you say, Bill. Mm -hmm. Why? When are, when's your shift done? Can you can 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 you take us around this here facility? Help us help us suss a little things out. Maybe maybe look for this oiler. Are you busy right now? Uh, Bill kind of like seems to, to respond well, but then looks over and uh, you look down a hallway and you see Obregon like almost storming towards you. Um, she also seems to have a logbook in her hand. Um, and she is shaking it, like smacking it against her hand as she walks towards you uh, and she shoves it right in your face. Um, I'm not the reader here. I mean, I can read, but I, I oh. don't particularly enjoy it. Just... I'll Give it a draw high. Oh, you I'll got some data? Here, here, yeah. Here, okay. here. Take it, I'm looking take at it. it. I'm looking uh, at it. I'm like, oh, more numbers. Look, look, look. Yeah, exactly. You know it's, what? It's, you, it's right here. You do just what you love. Open. You'll never work a day in your life. Uh, I'm just like, <laughs> what, what am I looking at here? I mean, I'm asking DM, like, what am I looking at here? <laughs> you were you're looking at a logbook, and as she kind of like frantically pulls the pages to the most recent like, ones, just, I can see. read it. It's, yeah. it's, well, it's, it's right here. It's right here. It's, it's uh, these are, these are the Thopter. Uh, release forms for today. Uh, it looks like uh, Euler took one of these out uh, to go and investigate one of the gatherers down on the surface. Um, All right. Well, seems a little yeah. suspicious to me. Did anyone sign off on that? Like a commander, maybe? Is there any? Uh, was there any approval on it? Does there need oh. to be approval for that type of thing? 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, you take a look at it, and there, there is. There's a little set of initials right next to it. it seems to be the commanders. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this, this, this oiler's got a, a history here on the ship. Uh, not very. Uh, uh, kind of a, a tough worker. Uh, you know, had a lot of discipline issues early on. Seems to be a little bit more, um, you know, dutiful. Uh, over time, seem to make some friends with uh, the commander uh, after a few, you know, few lashings or so. Yikes. So it's oh. so it's toxic. Like, yeah. He disliked the commander, but then mm -hmm. somehow works with him. Somehow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just seemed to kind of like turn a corner almost and suddenly being pretty good, like helping keep mm -hmm. in the engine room, you know, good and ship Exploding. shape. Yeah. Yeah. All uh, That's... <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, let's let's go after it. Let's go. Let's go track this guy down then. Yeah, we know where he is. Mm -hmm. We know what uh -huh. he's done. The captain seems like a dupe. Maybe this other guy. Let's go. Let's uh, let's uh. And I'm just like thinking about spice. Maybe I've just got it on the brain. I'm like, they're getting it right off the ground. Let's. What could go wrong? Yeah. Do uh, do we want to talk to the captain again first? Do we want to? We want to corner him on a little bit of this information before we go and hunting down someone we don't know which direction they went on this big desert planet full of giant worms that can eat chips well they went to where this <laughs> crawler is yes yeah yeah we've got the we got the depot location right here uh okay I, I, i'll tell you if you you come back with this kind of evidence i mean you're gonna be able to take this commander down yeah i mean you let's yeah I, I don't think I need him. evidence to take him down. Let's confront him not on his <laughs> ship. And in fact, maybe we don't even have to confront him. We could just hand this over. And then that's a good, that you know, it's a little feather in the cap for House Posh. No personal risk for us. Plus, we get to see a sand crawler. I, I, I do like the idea of seeing a sand crawler. But I, I'd really like to drop the captain out of my ornithopter because of what he did to Bill. <laughs> Bill's my new best friend. <laughs> Isn't that right, Bill? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wait, what's going on? You're gonna don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, we'll catch up later. Point. Maybe we should like neutralize the captain, or at least bring him with us. Keep I him like from that idea. Getting him, getting away. Yeah, let's. I got. He I got is, this. I think he is supposed to be on this trip with us to the surface, to right. Oh, He's supposed okay. to be like giving us a tour. Oh, so is he holding him hostage? Yeah, the memo, right? Isn't that what the memo said? Keep yeah, us busy was, or something. Yeah. yeah. Was supposed to, to treat you well and, and tell you what was going on. Um, uh, Obergon kind of, I, I don't know if the commander is going to be taking you on any tours anytime soon, especially with this. Uh, might be uh, trying to take control of the ship a little bit, stay here rather than go out there onto the surface. You could try it. Uh, commander mm -hmm. does have some, uh, uh, some pull still on the ship. You know, not everyone's going to immediately leap to your side is all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. All right, so we should subdue him. Yeah, we can be persuasive. Mm -hmm. I have that rope. He knows <clears> that he is <throat> under review or suspects so. <laughs> uh, the evaluation. The evaluation. Oh, yeah, we've got and him on his back fact. feet with that. Yes, indeed. Wow. So it sounds like we have a couple different options, and you are, you are choosing to go and track down the commander and uh, take, them, take him down right now. Well, or, or do we want to have him come on this trip with us? Right. I think we yeah. I think we take him on oh, a trip I with see, us. If I we can. see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're not you're not looking to poison him, tie him up, and, and do an interrogation. You were just like well, not, not on the ship yeah. where he's the most okay. powerful. Yeah. We're I mean, him elsewhere. I gotcha. That's why we want to subdue him, convince him to go on an ornithopter with us, despite his protest, because like he wants to keep us on this ship. So we got, think we got have some to finagling to do. Okay. Yep. Hey, we got that rope. You do. You do. <laughs> and that worm. <laughs> if it comes down to it. <laughs> um, okay. This makes a lot of sense. So, so this is going to be a persuasive task, of course. But you, you feel like this isn't beyond you. Uh, this commander does not want to leave. This commander is like ready for this ship. Wants to stay here. Doesn't like doing things. I'll tell you that. Um, so this is going to be a difficulty four task. Uh, hmm. It's going to be a communication deal. So, if you want to be convincing, you're going to have to do some work. Okay. 
Well, that sounds like three, at least three momentum right there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You got um, that. I have a seven in communication and a focus in persuasion. Should I? All you uh, said. That yeah. sounds like you. I would also love leader. some help because, yeah, difficulty four. Mm -hmm. um, glad to help. I'm not my... the best doctor. Okay. Okay. Glad to lend help can come in many forms, too. Very true. All, all many per, uh, communication forms. <laughs> I am familiar mm -hmm. in all nutritional aspects of interrogation. I'll, I'll adjust my suspensors so that I'm a little bit taller. Uh, Ooh. To Ooh. look like an imposing figure. Nice. That's not how yeah. suspensors work. Mm -hmm. no. I like this. I, I want to no. go it ahead. It does in the trailer. It does <laughs> in that does. new trailer. Sorry, that's that's true. true. It does in a new trailer. <laughs> I was delighted to see that. I was like, oh, good. They're going that was oh, that's, yeah. That's so much less. Yeah, it's so much less a bummer than what it actually does in the book. Uh, it's right. like it's a nice update. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, let's let's do it. Let's convince. Okay. Uh, one second, everybody. Okay. Look over. Um, <laughs> <laughs> quick change. As promised. Guy. It's my favorite mm -hmm. tune ability. Um, Wait, who's DMing us now? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? Mm -hmm. um, Really quickly, I just want to point out that Jaselnica has a very cool ability, right? Uh, one of yours that I see is Binding Promise. So if you make this oh, stick, you ooh. can spend the momentum to make sure that the commander abides by this agreement. Yes. I, would have, I would have to spend threat to break this promise. Ha ha! <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. That is power. I love it. Yes, it <laughs> is. Uh, speaking of power, I definitely do want to use power for this drive mm -hmm. uh one gathers power by putting together the strongest allies um which and by allies i think a loose interpretation of allies is is people we can control <laughs> oh okay yeah. in that case i'll allow it okay thank you <laughs> <laughs> and so two dice persuasion focus okay and Ugh, I only got one. Oh, I'm, oh I meant to buy a die. Add momentum? You did. You yeah. were going to add some momentum. Were, That's okay. I th yeah, I thought you were going to buy two momentum die because we were saying spend three. It, I already rolled. Should uh, I re-roll it or can I? Yeah, or no? That was definitely I mean, your yeah. intention. Was, it was your stated intention, right? Full like, re-roll. Or should I just totally add? Fine. Okay. What would you prefer I do? Add the two die or Full re-roll re is okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's like when I roll my, my dice and they fall off the book and I'm like, no, nah, that doesn't count. It has to be <laughs> yeah. on the book. Yeah, okay, totally cool. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so back to communicate and power. And uh, so I'm doing one, two, I start with two, and then we're going to spend three die. Uh, sorry, three momentum for me to get two die. Yes. All right. Uh, so that's four total. Mm -hmm. And then yes to focus. Okay, here we go. Yes. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Eight the successes. Eee! Oh my goodness. Do we win okay. the game? Is that what happened? I think we won. <laughs> yeah. We own the commander. I yep. love the Spicy Poops is evolving. Yeah. The final Spicy rolls poops. of both of these games <laughs> is critical, like amazing. Wow. <laughs> Last time That's all wild. failure, this time all crits. Yes. All right, um, so, so so we need well, just for me trying to remember how the rules go, if you don't guys yes. don't mind. So mm -hmm. we needed four successes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We rolled four successes. We rolled eight. Well, we, yeah. In addition, we got a bonus from um, focus, a bonus from assist. So the focus is that it now crits not on a one, but there we like go. on under the target number. Perfect. That's uh, that's, under, that's the count I was missing. Skill. Under, under the, the skill, skill number. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I, so I kept getting that wrong myself. Four crits here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's so good. So that means uh, we get four momentum back. From the three yes. that we spent. So you yes. spend three, you get four back, and you are back to maximum. Woo! Um, back That's to the zesty six. way. Right? Yeah. The zestiest. Um, oh, wonderful. You you convince uh, the commander easily to go with you. Of course, it's a tour. And yeah, um, I, I should probably keep an eye on everything. Yeah, yes. personally. Yes, yeah, exactly. Okay. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Um, we'll... Uh, we'll uh, you know, I've considered my options, and I, I think about all the ships here. Maybe we should take your Thopter. How does that sound? Um, it's a uh, agent, uh, nice and clean, right? Uh, well, I, no, I mean, you know, here's the thing, though. I think part of our inspection, we should probably take one of your Thopters. Don't don't we? Don't you all think? I mean, I'm sorry, our um, observation of this facility. 
<laughs> not, mm. not, not to mention the uh, valuation, but you do keep all of your ornithopters in great working condition, do you not? Uh, yeah, uh, they're they're all they're all really um, yeah. Mine was shape. Mine was already a little bit cramped with with uh, with us. So yeah, so let, let's just let's just take one of yours. It'll be fine. Let's go. Okay, I pull out right. my. You just pick it. I'll fly. I pull out my fork signalers and I say, I don't want to die. <laughs> uh, uh, the, the commander kind of just looks around. I do this, and then... but also nods, which is it's like, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> uh, looks over at Obergon and goes, ah, prepare uh, the, the finest ornithopter we have, please. Uh, <laughs> Me no, meanwhile, all... Like, all right. <laughs> meanwhile, Brad Montana's eyes are just lit up with mischief as he knows exactly what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And he's just going to go ahead and lead us to our own thopter, but... <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, we're not going to fly one of their <laughs> crappy ones. I just wanted him to sweat. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, all right. Brad Montana, every time I think you've got me, I've got you figured out. Every time. <laughs> well... On that, do you let Oberon know she's going off to prepare another? Oh, another yeah, no, I no, another I figured time. I would have spoon signaled to Oberon what's going on. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay, ten four, ten four. <laughs> uh, great. Ten four. In that case, you start heading off to yours. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. yeah. Ten. Four. I love it. <laughs> um, excellent. Well, then, uh, since we are closing on our time for today. Uh, you very quickly, right, get your things together. You have the commander. You load up into your thopter. You climb down that ladder, get into your seats. And uh, I know you were ready for the drop, Justin, and that's exactly oh, yeah. how this is going to work, right? You just Woo! dangle there, powering up lightly, waiting for that clamp to just drop you from the sky. Uh, and, uh, I mean, you're, you're good at this. You know this. This is a oh, typical yeah. start. Are you going to show off or are you just going to, like, turn it on? immediately i'm 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 not going to go completely overboard but i want to i want to give the captain you know a ride he'll remember um you know just kind of pushing it to the edge of where my friends are comfortable with my nonsense mm -hmm. but probably way too reckless feeling for for the captain so maybe mm -hmm. like when we drop we do like a little flip before i take us off and we're flying you know <laughs> just something like a little bit just to kind of shake them up a little mm -hmm. as part of my intimidation dr yuan will take a page from a certain movie and i'll pretend to fall asleep <laughs> using my discipline wow wow pretend Sneak to be through asleep the whole thing <laughs> <laughs> excellent <laughs> So you also get to sleep through a few of the commander's very loud screams. <laughs> as, as there is just free fall and the thopter like starts spinning just a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit from the clamp, a little bit from Agent Montana messing around. Um, spirals just a bit before those wings like power up, start flapping, um, and uh, you level out and start heading off into the distance. Excellent. Wonderful. Uh, what an excellent end. I like this so much. The commander yeah. on board and you headed off towards this supply depot to uh, to find out what's going on. Uh, and I wish I could just end it there. I wish I could. But that cannot be the end of this scene. Um, because as you travel, the commander, sullen, staring off into the distance, um, looking down at the sand, looking for any sorts of vibrations, any worm sign, any sign of safety or anything. Um, doesn't seem to be doing anything at all. Just focused, angry, uh, looking, chatting when uh, when he needs to, but trying not to. Um, but something else happens. Uh, Brad Montana. Yes. You are flying. Uh, it's easy. It's your thopter. It's your yeah. favorite thopter. It's my um, favorite but, thopter. Uh, you start looking down, and uh, one of your dials starts twitching a little bit. Oh. Um, you, are, you are running uh, very low on uh on fuel like ridiculously low um uh, so is uh, this it now uh, now is this is this something where because i would assume that i would check my fuel mm -hmm. as a pilot so when we left the the drop <laughs> does it seem like i've lost extra fuel between this, this this series of trips indeed you did check it out and things seem to be just fine uh, sorry marzipan has joined us for this climactic ending um <laughs> And uh, and as you've been going, you've been paying attention, and things have been pretty fine. I mean, you you're used to kind of this whole thing. You were just going, uh, 
at some point, you know, in the trip, this trip is a few hours, I would say, um, about hour two, you just start to lose focus a little bit on that dial, not quite looking at all of them all the time. I mean, you don't have to, right? Right. Um, until the, uh, the light flips on, uh, that dial kind of fiddling, uh, twitching back and forth. Uh, there is suddenly from off in the side, like in the rear of the ship, there is a, a small like boom and a rattle uh, and smoke starts billowing outwards as, uh, as your engine dries up and loses fuel rapidly. Um, well, friends, looks like we're going to have to walk. Just start heading downwards <laughs> towards the sand below. Engine er, uh, Alerts blaring the entire time. Uh, smoke starts billowing. Fire starts erupting from behind you. And Commander... <laughs> Commander Globus just starts screaming. <laughs> uh, and we'll end right there. Um, <laughs> as this very simple journey uh, uh, off to this depot is now, who knows what it's going to be. Uh, see if you can survive the sands of Arrakis. Yeah. Uh, you're you're yeah. going to head it that way. <laughs> Excellent. Finally. 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 Wow. Well, <laughs> 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 going home uh as usual i am so thankful that all of you have been here for this uh this has been fantastic i appreciate all your efforts at this investigation um it's a, a very fun to see everyone get really really into it and i'm glad that your characters are so fitting for the world of espionage uh we could have turned this into an espionage conflict but i really like how we dealt with the whole thing so thank you so much um uh, with that, let's do a quick runaround. Let's see where we can find you this week as we wrap this up uh, and see who's going to win these three copies of the uh, Dune RPG from Modiphius. If you have not entered yet, uh, hit exclamation mark raffle and then type in a number from 1 to 10 and join in on your chance to get a copy of uh, the game that we're all playing. Uh, and with that, let's do a oh, reverse alphabetical. I am in. Teos, where can we find you on the internet these this week? <laughs> uh, you can find me at alphastream.org. Uh, one of the things that I'll be sharing is how I was on the D&D Beyond show talking about dragons. Uh, that video is now out on their YouTube channels. Indeed. Uh, that was a super fun talk. Um, and then uh, you can find me on Mastering Dungeons, the podcast. <laughs> We had a really nice time uh, this week. I can't spoil it out, but it'll be out on Thursday. Uh, <laughs> and we had a lot of fun talking about things, including the role of canon in d and I learned a lot from Ooh. my partner in crime, Sean Merwin, uh, on this episode. So I think you'll all enjoy that when it drops. Very curious. Fantastic. Uh, Justin, where can we find you? I know I'll be able to find you just down here because you're going to be staying on my couch soon. Uh, yeah. But <laughs> yep, exactly. Uh, where can we find you online? <laughs> yeah, so this week, uh, you're not going to see me much. I'll be on uh, tomorrow night, probably doing some DJing uh, on my Twitch channel. All my technology woes are kind of sorted. My Twitch channel is uh, twitch.tv slash DJ Pirate Rabbits. Uh, and then normally on Sundays, you'd see me on Owlbear Soup. But we're taking this weekend off to play a bunch of games so we have more stuff for reviews Indeed. uh yeah so fantastic uh all right cohen what's your week like <laughs> hey cohen you can find me every morning at 8 a.m eastern on game worms uh we're playing through subnautica right now and also started a dune book club uh had our first meeting today reading through it a chunk at a time it's a lot of fun uh, everybody wow. it's it's really fun to be to be leading a discussion about dune and then like okay so the important thing about contrast oh shit giant squid it's <laughs> it's a, a land of contrast uh, that's a lot of fun and then on fridays uh fridays noon eastern uh me and my buddy casey play through some stuff this uh friday we're playing through a bunch of uh weird uh japanese horror indie games for a few hours perfect thing to do on a friday afternoon uh not necessarily night but <laughs> So that's that's what's going on with me. Excellent. Fantastic. Uh, B, where can we find you this week? Yeah, hello, hello. I'm your busy non-binary B. You can find me on Twitter as at B underscore Zelda. I am a podcaster, a member of the Broadswords, the host of Anime Attaché, and a player in Power Play RPG. I stream a handful of times throughout the week. You'll have to check out my Twitter for my schedule, but this Friday, I will be streaming on the Broadswords channel. We are running a charity for the Trans Lifeline, uh, which is a Canadian uh, organization that is absolutely wonderful, and I'm going to be playing a druid who is also a pile of worms uh so if you are not creeped out by worms and enjoy them in the piles come check that out 
that's, that's I'm surprised but amazed. I'm, I'm a big I fan of all those concepts. Yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Annalisa, where can we find you this week? <laughs> uh, yeah, you can always find me on Twitter and Instagram at Aliza Pearl. And um, I have a lot of streams. Same same as what B said. Check out my Twitter and stuff for the schedule. But right after this, I am going to be streaming Witcher 3 uh, at twitch.tv slash Ripley Improv. And I love the game. I'm really into it. So come, so come watch me stream it. <laughs> I checked in after the show yesterday and I was like, oh, memories. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Uh, yes. <laughs> I love it. It is a very good game. Good. Good. Well, fantastic. And uh, my name is Rich. Uh, this is our penultimate episode. We'll be back next week for the grand finale. We'll see if our, our heroes, heroes, our, our collection of rogues can survive the, the harshness of the Arrakis desert, um, whether they can get back and find out what in the world is going on, whether this commander will see uh, justice done or whatever passes for justice uh, when we deal with house politics. Um, I'm uh, very excited. You can find me, of course, on, uh, on all the places as R. Molina and, uh, Gosh, I, I just, I don't have anything else. I'm just so excited. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you all so much for watching. Dom, I'm ready. Tell us who won them books. <laughs> oh, it looks like hey. our winners this week. Hours Without Sleep has won a copy. Uh, Terror Hawk has won a copy, as well as Soma913. Fantastic. Uh, those, are those, books. those are cool, Enjoy. cool yeah. usernames, too. I like them. Yeah, mm -hmm. Terror Hawk's one of my boys. <laughs> Nice, nice. Oh, worms. <laughs> Read carefully. Uh, find out about all the hijinks we're up to. Um, and you can also check it out on Roll20 because, uh, holy cow, the Roll20 interface oh, yeah. has been fantastic. So I hope you've been enjoying mm -hmm. it yes. throughout this stream. Um, well, uh, thank you so much. Uh, we'll see you next week for, for the big finale. Uh, enjoy your week. Uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs>